So this is Chasing versus Pursuit. It is from chapter six of What Men Want. And this masterclass is inside the pathway to feminine embodiment and relationship mastery, which is the work membership that I've created. It's a space for women to tap into their feminine energy and to heal um, in the right way. This recording, uh, this masterclass is an hour long and there's slides and a QA. and a um, Here you're, you'll just get a little snippet just to give you an idea of what the membership is like and we hope to see you there as an excessive form of pursuit okay um and just the word in itself implies that like um if you think about the word pursuit and you think about the word chasing pursuing is sort of um um you're going after what you want um and it's subtler chasing is very um needy right like just in terms of the energy and in terms of the words like chasing is very um you have to get it there's like a need associated with it um so you know in terms of the outcome it's you know very similar to in terms of outcome but it is and it's an excessive form of pursuit okay and there's an underlying component into that in that which we'll get into so its underlying motivation is to soothe self okay not so much to capture the interests of the third party which is what pursuit is right pursuit is you know capturing the interest of a third party um, in terms of chasing, the underlying motivation is to soothe self first. Um, you know, so, you know, and, and with both terms, you know, when we're chasing and we're pursuing, you know, there there is this whole sort of um, wanting to um, get something or, um, right, get something, get a romantic partner or whatever, whatnot. Um, but the motivation is different right the motivation and chasing and the motivation of pursuit is different so capturing the interest of the third party is only relevant in so much that it signifies importance to the chaser and thereby soothes them of their internal incongruence okay so i hope you guys understand this and if you have questions you can always ask me later um So the chaser is chasing a feeling. The feeling that the chaser chases is not so much a feeling of romantic love, right? That's what a pursuer, that's what someone that pursues wants, but a feeling of validation that ties into their distorted self-concept that is built on self-importance and a grandiose sense of self. Okay, so let's just break this down. So the chaser is chasing a feeling um, and it's a feeling of validation, right? That's why we're chasing it um different from pursuit but in chasing we're chasing this feeling we want a feeling right and it's not so much of romantic love the feeling that we're chasing is we want we want to feel validated right and then think about it in terms of when we're chasing a man when we're chasing it we're chasing we want a man's validation we want the man's approval we want we're we're chasing that we're not so much chasing romantic love because when we're looking for romantic love, um, that feeling is very different from, um, you know, chasing for validation, right? The feeling of wanting to be pursued as a feminine woman is very different and is in contradiction to um, the feeling of um, um, chasing in terms of like this person, um, I need validation. It's completely different. Um, and it ties into their distorted self-concept that is built on self-importance and a grandiose sense of self, okay? So since the chaser lacks a feeling of importance at an egoic level, which is on the healthy spectrum, because because we all have an ego, um, and all of our egos are designed with the same mechanism of keeping us safe, the chaser lacks this aspect of healthy ego and instead has a distorted negative ego, okay? So the chaser's distorted negative ego will crave external validation of self since it has not come into its awareness and has not been taught another way to obtain the feeling of importance internally in a healthy way, okay? So we all have ego. There's nothing wrong with ego. Uh, 
you know, when we're on the balanced side, so we're balanced in our masculine and feminine energies, and this is for men and women, um, we have a healthy ego, um, and that healthy ego, you know, we get that extra, we get that internal sense of well-being within, right? The chaser doesn't have that, and the chaser doesn't possess that. Um, a chaser doesn't have a healthy sense self-concept, so the the chaser is looking for validation outside of itself um and will crave this external validation because um it doesn't it, it hasn't come into its own awareness and its own um sense of um well-being internally right and that's what we get when we have a healthy when we have a healthy self-esteem and a healthy ego So chasers exhibit qualities that reflect a lack of awareness and if awareness is there, right? So even if a chaser has the awareness and knows what the chaser is doing, has the awareness that it is wrong, um, they lack respect, boundaries, and social cues. So this is important to note. So even, so sometimes, um, you know, this comes back to self, we will be we will have an awareness that this behavior is wrong, chasing a man is wrong, uh, messaging a, a man multiple times or calling and things like that. We will have the awareness that it is wrong. So we will lack that awareness, but we will continue to do it. So, um, you know, we as a chaser will lack, we, have, we will have lack of respect, boundaries and social cues. And social cues comes from the fact that we are not get, we're not going to be getting the response that we want, right? When we're calling a man multiple times, when we're chasing a man multiple times, we are not going to get the response that we want from the man. The man is actually going to pull away. Uh, and this is the same thing with a man. If a man is watching this, a woman is going to pull away. So we can know that our behaviors are wrong. We can have awareness of it, um, but we still will, you know, have lack of respect, boundaries, and we will lack social cues right the awareness of the social cues so a chaser believes that their behaviors are good and caring conversely evidence of love and lack of reciprocation will be met with extreme reactivity in the form of criticism judgment and lack of empathy so sometimes when we are chasing um and we are like over pursuing um we will if we don't have the lack of awareness and this this is all about awareness we need the awareness this is not about judgment we will we will tell ourselves that our behaviors are good and we're caring right so if we are calling a man excessively um you know or we're calling our kids excessively this is not just for a romantic relationship this can be even with our children right our family if we are if we are being excessive in our behaviors and excessively calling anybody right or texting anybody that we are and, and we are telling ourselves that we are doing this because we care and we're being loving um that that is you know that is you know chasing and that is coming from an unhealthy space and um a chaser will um sort of use these negative behaviors as evidence of love and when it is not reciprocated, right? So if the other person puts a boundary and says, I only want to talk to you this amount of time, like this is what feels healthy to me, this doesn't feel good, um, the, that lack of reciprocation will be met with reactivity um, in the form of criticism, jump, judgment, and lack of empathy. So I want you guys to think about that within yourself. Um, if you are calling a man excessively and he can't pick up or he's working or whatever it is he's, he's doing, Think about your own reactions to that, right? Um, did you go into sort of like wounding and reactivity and anger um, that, you know, he doesn't love me or, you know, he's not um, paying attention to me or he's not caring or any sort of sort of um, criticism towards him? That is um, that is a behavior of a chaser, right? And it's coming from the unhealthy ego. Now, what does over pursuit means? And over pursuit is chasing, right? Over pursuit simply means rushing, rushing to achieve and obtain some sort of outcome and fast. Now, the faster the outcome is reached, the greater the degree of self importance the chaser feels, okay? So, chasing is over pursuing, right? And we're chasing to get this feeling and this feeling of validation. Now, 
the faster that we can obtain whatever outcome that we want so you know um if that is you know getting a man to be in a relationship with us or getting someone to do something for us um the faster we can reach that the better we're going to feel about ourselves as a chaser because it is going to validate um like self-importance and as a chaser we're not we don't feel that within ourselves and so this outcome is going to um give us that sense of self-importance that we lack within ourselves okay now examples of over pursuit or chasing look like an excessive amount of messaging on dating apps right so um excessive amount of messaging is anything that is play placing an importance on the dating app that means that if we are constantly obsessing over messages and who has matched with us at the expense of focus toward other things a chaser places excessive importance on a person once the conversation gets going they become overly invested okay their over investment is displayed through their consistent need of connection to this third person okay an over investment of feelings very early on so the chaser will feel excessively happy and excited there will be an urgency to hop on a call and set up a date and this won't feel natural and organic okay so everything is gonna feel very rushed right as soon as a man matches with us on a dating app or a woman matches with us on a dating app we just want to get the conversation going and we want to have talks and now we're not focusing on work we're not focusing on the gym we're not focusing on our help we're, we're waiting for the messages to come in right and um you know our focus is now not towards us anymore it's towards this other person and the this, the actions of this other person right and you know and we're getting excessively happy and excited right as soon as we get this match and this person is talking to us and we're getting attention we're getting overly excited about that so we're putting an over emphasis of meaning on um what it means of, for this person to be messaging us and things like that and it's going to and the underlying thing here is it's going to feel very rushed why because and in this excitement why why does it feel exciting it feels exciting because we don't feel good about ourselves right as a chaser we don't feel good about ourselves we're lacking this um self we, we lack this um self-importance within ourselves and we are looking for it externally so once we see evidence of it externally we match with someone a man is interested in us a woman is interested in us we latch on right and then we want more and more and more and why do we want more and more and more we want more and more and more because now this is feeding this hole that we have within ourselves okay so it will feel very inorga inorganic to the healthy third party although it may feel good to the third party chaser who also very quickly wants to move things along so if a if if a man is chasing me and um, i will probably go into examples of this where um you know i've met men where they match with me they like my profile we start talking and i can see that he's very excited he's overly excited because i am balanced in my energies and i'm a balanced woman i'm a secure woman that is going to be off-putting to me now if i wasn't um balanced in my energy and i wasn't a healthy woman um and i was also a chaser within right i also um, exhibited qualities of a chaser that over pursuit would feel very good to me because now because i would be just as he would be looking for validation from me i would be looking for validation from him okay so examples of over pursuit and chasing look like um chasing the chasing feels very fast and I, as i said it's evidenced by frequent messaging early on and it's extended first second and third dates so extended first dates and for those of you guys that follow me i always say first date should be coffee or maybe dinner maximum two hours so coffee date should be like an hour um extended first second and dates mean um and it could be phone conversations you guys are on the phone for hours you are on um you are on a date for hours like hours like all day five hours things like that and you guys meet very quickly again okay calls very early on last very long the chaser will want to get into a relationship as quickly as possible okay so this is the underlying theme um it is very rushed the chaser wants to get this outcome very quickly because that 
um, solidifies um, a good feeling within the chaser that and that chaser lacks that within self okay so this need to get into a relationship as quickly as possible stems from the lack of importance that the chaser feels for self okay the chaser feels needed desired and important when their advances are met when the advances are not met, they will become self-important by way of condemning the third party for their lack of interest and can go so far as to shame them for not giving them a chance. Okay, so this is exactly what I was just talking about that, um, you know, when the chaser gets their, you know, advances met, they feel very, they feel desired and they feel needed. And when it's not met, um, they become very self-righteous, right? And they condemn the third party for their lack of interest and and what they'll do is you know they'll shame them they'll put them and and i want you guys to think about this within yourself um when your advances are getting my man and you're talking to him and he's giving you all this attention and then all of a sudden he doesn't one day or he's out or he you know doesn't call you um what happens we become self-entitled right and you know we get mad at them we become reactive so if we're in our unhealthy masculine energy um what we'll do is we'll become very reactive and we will become very um mean okay so the unhealthy feminine woman will become very needy very whiny very cry like very uh needy right like um why aren't you calling me how can you not be calling me um an excessive sadness right for the unhealthy masculine woman she'll become angry right um very rea they're both reactive they're both ego responses but um the behavior looks a little bit different okay so the chaser will often not respect boundaries so um if a man wants to um you know a woman will not let a man lead the relationship if it's a woman that's the chaser um and even if a man says um you know i only want to let's say there's kids involved um i think we should have a schedule for the kids that's healthy for the kids the chaser this woman this toxic woman will not like it and she'll be um she'll not respect his boundaries um as women if we're in a relationship with a man and a man has work or a man is busy and he can't pick up let's say he's at the gym um we won't respect his boundaries if we are continuing to message him and call him and things like that okay and for um what it looks like for a female with a man is if a um, female says you know um you know i'm not ready to kiss i'm not ready to um move into sort of anything sexual um the chaser and let's say that's the man he will become upset by that right he won't respect that and he'll become upset by that and he might even like shame her for um her not wanting to sort of move forward in that way so they will message and call despite the despite the reciprocation and will often despite the lack of reciprocation and will often end up being blocked since the chasing behavior will not cease the chaser can go from anger to self-pity to sorrow to an overemphasis of inauthentic happy emotion to get the attention of the third party right so um the the chaser will you know if the chaser if this person is not getting you know that validation you know what will happen they'll become reactive like i was saying so reactive getting angry that's the toxic masculine to self-pity which is the wounded feminine to sorrow um and then when those don't work because usually when we do these behaviors what happens is the other person moves away um now the chaser will go into performing and will um fake being happy right um an over emphasis of happy emotion to get the attention of the third party okay so who chases, right? This is the fundamental question, who chases? While men and women that are imbalanced in their energies, men and women polarized in their masculine or feminine energies or function between both extremes, right? So, um, you know, either if you're really far into your masculine energy or really into your feminine energy, um, but usually when you are in one extreme, you're functioning back and forth between both extremes okay although the energy will be polarized either in the masculine or in the feminine right um, even though the behaviors will mirror both and you'll switch back and forth between both 
the energy because i talk about energy the energy will either be polarized in the masculine or polarized in the feminine okay um and we can get into that in the class more if you guys want to go over that so how does this look so men polarized in their masculine energy and i'm referring to men in this slide these men lack masculine energy and will be forceful to get what they want they will push force and exaggerate features of patriarchy such as dominance they will over pursue manipulate and rush to make things happen with a woman to validate an identity which in fact is their lack of identity they will become excessive in their courting so excessive they will ask a woman out multiple times a week and take her to fancy restaurants be grand with gestures, a week to Paris, fancy events and the like. And they will also brag about their assets. Okay. This is men that are polarized in their masculine energy. And this is all an, an attempt to seduce, to win her over. So chasing is outcome oriented. And when we chase, we're more concerned with the outcome, right? Versus the organic process of unfolding. Okay. Although pursuit is also outcome oriented, the orientation and mechanics are organic. So I, I want, I hope you guys understand that. So there's a need, the need for validation that we are enough, a need for validation of internal importance, need for outsourced connection and love, need for sexual pre pleasure, need for safety. So these are sort of the needs that um, are associated um with chasing and a chaser right it's this need to get this need for validation that we are enough a need for validation of internal importance a need for outsourced connection love a need for sexual pleasure and a need for safety these are the these are the the needs that one is um sort of these are the needs that drive the behavior of the chaser okay Now, when women chase, they are searching for a feeling of being met, okay? So different from men, women chase, they're searching for a feeling of being met. Women who long for companionship, safety, and to be seen will chase men through their behaviors that elicit a reaction. Often that reaction slash response stems from the man's ego versus his heart. So when women chase through behaviors that elicit a, re a reaction, right? Even, even though there's a response, right? And this is what le we're leaning back comes from. And this is why I disagree with it. Um, the response that el is elicited from, from these behaviors that women um, sort of do to get a man is not coming from a man's heart. It's coming from his ego. Since the woman that chases is also ego driven, the response garnered will be mirrored accordingly. Okay. So what are some chasing behaviors of women? So indirect forms of chasing are posing provocatively on dating apps or social media to elicit attention from men. A woman will flaunt her body assets or intellect money to draw men in. A woman that is not as aesthetically pleasing will use her assets, money, and accomplishments to lure men in. Now, uh, women that are beautiful and aesthetically beautiful will often use their body and their sexual energy to um, get a man in. Um, women that are not aesthetically pleasing, they will still use their sexual, you know, sexual um, energy to lure a man in. So they might... Um, go down on a man they might do all these things to pleasure a man um to again to get him um but they will also use assets and monies and accomplishments to lure men in right they will seduce a man with the things that they have right so direct are initiating messaging on dating apps and social media initiating conversations initiating plans filling in the gap when a man has pulled away or has disconnected having conversations to convince a man to behave in a way that is evidence of his commitment any conversation that is indicative of leading either directing or directly or indirectly so giving hints about what he should do what he should do next before he has committed any emotional outburst or upset emotion being revealed to get him to do something 
okay? Chasing is a form of survival that arises from the need to feel significant and experience love and connection. When the individual lacks the sense of acknowledgement from within, the individual will display behavior that represents an almost taking of that feeling from whichever source feels best and most accessible. Accessible, okay? So it's, it, it, is a, it is a form of survival, okay? Because we all want to feel significant. We all want to experience love and, love and connection. We all want to experience this within ourselves. If we don't feel it within ourselves, we are going to take that feeling. We are going to grab it and we are going to make sure that we are feeling it, okay? And it's because it's not coming from within us, okay? So what is pursuit? Okay, so pursuit is a healthy form of relating that involves displaying one's most favorable characteristics, personality traits, assets to attract a mate of an equal or higher caliber, okay? So it's a healthy relating and it does involve displaying one, you know, our, you know, our most favorable traits and things like that because ultimately with um, pursuit, we want to attract a mate that is at our level or of a higher caliber, okay? Pursuit is healthy in that when a man is looking to attract a mate, his DNA will move him to behave in ways that are natural and organic to his nature, okay? So it means he will move toward what he wants without any exaggerated advances, Exaggerated advances to the masculine man are threatening to the self-concept, okay? A masculine man is healthy and balanced and is by design a creature of nature. A creature of nature moves in alignment with nature and evolutionary principles. Evolutionary principles are organic, natural, slow, and feel good, okay? So masculine men will pursue, right? And pursue looks like an interested yet disinterested approach to dating and relating. This means that a masculine man will move into dating with the intention of meeting a high value woman, but will not force or be overly invested in the process of dating. Okay. Instead, there will be an ease that will be demonstrated through his lack of investment initially. Okay. So with a masculine man, right? He is interested. He wants a wife. But he's going to not force anything and he is going to be dating with an intention of meeting a high value woman and he's not going to be overly in, in, invested in the process of dating right there's going to be an ease that is involved in, in in this okay initially he will make the first move he will initiate and lead the conversation but he will likely not move into asking for a date right away and if he does it will be very light-hearted 